So today's class we will discuss about shear force diagram and bending moment diagram. So before starting the shear force diagram and bending moment, I will tell what is shear force and bending moment. So let me explain with an example. So consider there is a beam. Its length will be L and it is simply supported and supported at the two ends the point A and point B and a point load will be acting at the center of the B point load W so because of this point load there is a chance for shearing at the center like this or there is a chance for bending the beam like this. So the force cause for the shearing shear the beam is called the shear force. That's called the shear force. And again the force or moment required to bend the beam like this is called the bending moment bending moment so by definition the shear force shear force it is defined as the algebraic sum of it is defined as the algebraic sum of forces acting either left hand side or right hand side of the section left hand side or right hand side of the section. So shear force is it is the sum of the forces acting either on left hand or right hand side of the section. The unit of this shear force will be equal to Newton or Kilo Newton. So the next definition will be the bending moment. The bending moment is again the algebraic sum of algebraic sum of moments of all the forces moments of all all the forces acting to the acting to the right or left of the section so bending moment is it is again the algebraic sum of moments of all the forces it is not the simply forces it is the moments of all the forces acting to the right or left of the the so unit of this bending moment will be unit newton mm newton millimeter or kilo newton mm or kilo newton meter or newton meter so before starting this class so i will explain the type of support and type of beams and type of loading this is the type of supports so there are three type of support is there first one roller support second one pinned support 
third one fixed support in this dollar support this is the representation a triangle with two roller in pin support only one triangle in fixed support just like a cantilever beam so in this dollar support only we have the vertical forces that means if we give any horizontal force there is no reaction that means it will move if we give a vertical forces it will not move that means there is a rea equal and opposite reaction force is there so the beam will not move so in this pinned support there is no rollers there that means vertical force vertical moment and horizontal moment both are arrested so we have the vertical uh, reaction force is there and horizontal reaction force is there so in the third one this is the fixed support in that we have arrested or we we have the vertical horizontal and all the moments also we have that means the rotation the moments moment also we are arrested over here the vertical force we are arrested horizontal force we uh, horizontal moment we are arrested and again the moment also we are arrested so we have the three uh, forces in fixed support the next will be the type of beams that means this is the cantilever beam and this is the simply supported beam and this is the overhang beam this is the fixed beam and this is the continuous beam the in this cantilever beam the one end of the beam is fixed and other end is is free so that type of beam is called a cantilever beam and in this simply supported beam acting free, freely on the support at the both ends so here this is freely supported at the both ends this is the simply supported beam the overhang beam the one end of the beam will be overhang over here in this fixed beam the both end is fixed and this continuous beam just like a, the beam which is provided more than two support then this is the first one this is the second one and this is the third one so if the beam is provided more than two support this is known as continuous beam the next will be the type of loading the first one the, there are the three type of loading is there first one the point load or concentrated load so there is a three point load is acting on this beam w1 w2 w3 so next type will be the uniformly distributed load another name will be udl uniformly distributed load and the representation will be like this so in that the w load will be acting per meter of this beam so w will be the force unit will be newton that will be acting per meter in particular 1 meter this much load will be acting this is the representation of this uniformly distributed load the next type will be the third one next type will be uniformly varying load so here the uniformly it will varying this load it will be increasing from left to right the next will be sign convention in shear force diagram we we'll consider one section or one beam and this is the one section if the force is acting the right side of the section towards downward and with respect to this section the action of this force will be in clockwise direction so this force will be considered as a positive shear force again with respect to this section a force is acting upward direction to the left of the section then with respect to this section this force will be acting as a clockwise direction so again this will be considered as a positive shear force so diagram will be showing over here here with respect to a section the force is acting a clockwise direction then that type of force will be considered as a positive shear force again we consider one beam over here then one section is there if to the right side if the force is acting upward direction then that force will be acting 
anti clockwise direction with respect to this section then that type of force will be considered as a negative shear force again with respect to this section to the left of the side left uh, left side the force is acting towards downward direction then with respect to this section this force will be acting as acting in the direction of anti clockwise direction so in this direction anti clockwise direction so this force also considered as a negative shear force so this is the sign convention about the shear force is very important one then this one will be the about the bending moment in the case of bending moment consider one section over here this clockwise and anti clockwise concept you just forget it i will tell another one consider one section if a moment is acting upward direction so this is the one beam one section is there so moment is acting upward direction then this beam will be deflecting like this isn't it again one another moment is acting in this direction about left side of the section is again the beam will be in this direction the deflection of the beam will be in there. so this one some related to some happy smile one happy smile is there so this type of moment will be considered as a positive bending moment okay so about the section to the right side is upward direction that is considered as a positive moment and about the section to the left side it is in upward direction is again considered as a, a positive bending moment then about the section if it is downward direction in the right side it will be acting in the downward direction it will be considered as a negative bending moment so uh, because it is considered as a sad this is happy this is happy and this is sad so about the section if the moment is acting downward direction it will be considered as a negative bending moment and about the section in the left side it is again is acting in the downward direction it will be considered as a negative bending moment okay and this positive bending moment is again uh, called as sagging bending moment this positive bending moment is again called as sagging sagging bending moment and this type of negative bending moment is again called as hogging bending moment this is the sign conversion of shear force and bending moment so next we can discuss about some mcqs so first one the what is the bending moment at the end support of a simply supported beam so this is a simply supported beam what will be the bending moment at the end support of a simply supported beam so the the bending moment at the both end will be the zero answer because the bending moment will be the force into distance here the distance here will be the zero so the bending moment will be zero over here the explanation at the end support the moment or couple develop is zero because there is no distance to take the perpendicular acting load as the distance is zero the moment is obviously will be zero next question the what is the maximum shear force when cantilever beam is loaded with a udl throughout so what will be the maximum shear force the shear force i uh, what is the shear force shear force will be the algebraic sum of all the forces with respect to a section to a right or left of the that section so here in the this force will be the udl then this udl will be 
converted into length into force. So the answer will be W into L. Okay, the maximum shear force when the cantilever beam is loaded with a UDL throughout will be equal to the option A, W into L. The answer will be W into L. The third question, the neutral axis in the beam is subjected to dash bending moment, bending stress. The neutral axis in the beam is subjected to zero bending stress. The fourth one, the beam is a structural member which is subjected to. This question is asking what is beam? Okay, the beam is a structural member which is subjected to option A, the axial tension or compression, option B, the transverse load and couples, option C, twisting moments, option D, no load but its axis should be horizontal and X section rectangular or circular. The answer will be this one. A cantilever is a beam whose option A both end are supported either on rollers or hinges. Then option B one end is fixed and other end is free. And second and third one both end are, uh, ends are fixed. And third one whose both or one of the ends uh, has overhanging. So answer will be the one end is fixed and other end is free. Thank you.